Um, we now have Ibrahim Baz. Uh, he is the president of Istanbul Metropolitan uh, Planification Center. Uh, my English is not so good. Perhaps you will speak Turkish. Yeah. If uh, you have a headphone, we can continue in English, in Turkish. Uh, İstanbul Metropolitan Planlama Bürosu uh, bir <coughs> uh, çevre plan hazırladı 2006 yılında. Bu çevre planı uh, bugün gözden geçirilerek tekrar uh, uh, tamamlandı. Uh, şimdi bu uh, çevre planı hakkında uh, İbrahim Baz bize bilgi verecek. İstanbul Metropolitan Planlama Bürosu bir belediye şirketi altında örgütlenmiş bir ofis ve çok sayıda üniversite öğretim üyesiyle birlikte işbirliği yapan bir kurum. Türkçe mi konuşayım İngilizce? Türkçe. İngilizce. Peki. Okay. Uh, try to speak English. Okay. Right. And then uh, as uh, Farhan Gümüş stated that uh, I'm going to uh, make a presentation about the environmental plan studies we carried out in our center. And then in my presentation, context will be uh, covering about the seven uh, parts. First of all, uh, to understand the planning studies and the visions and the objects of the planning for the Istanbul metropolitan area, it is better to know some of the facts and issues about the Istanbul. And then what we faced as the challenging situations uh, at the stage of the planning and then why was the necessary necessitated uh, became for the establishment of the IMP and then the planning process and visioning the Istanbul the plans and the objects of the plans and some of the hot spots or special project areas that we decided together with the uh, planning studies uh, if we have a look at the, some of the uh, figures and the facts about Istanbul, uh, Istanbul uh, has a, uh, over uh, 133 billion US dollar economy and income. So together with this economy, Istanbul is in fact bigger than almost 127 uh, 27 countries in the world. And also Istanbul has 36% uh, of the exports and 40% of the imports uh, of Turkey, which is passing through Istanbul. And with this situation, Istanbul, of course, can be named as a huge industrial city. And uh, also, uh, Turkey's 45% of the uh, national production is uh, supplied through Istanbul or by Istanbul's economy. And then, uh, if you have a look at the uh, population of the Istanbul, uh, according to the census data uh, 2007, uh, our population is just over 12.5 million and it is increasing yearly. And if you have a look at the statistical data uh, for the population increase, uh, every year we are almost having uh, uh, 300,000 more population. And then, uh, of course, uh, this is uh, very uh, much uh, dangerous uh, situation for Istanbul. Uh, but the uh, main reason for this is because Istanbul is the Turkey's biggest industrial city. So we have to stop Istanbul's industrialization at some point. So this plan is in fact uh, deals with that uh, much. And then uh, according to this population increase, of course, uh, the settlement areas development also increased parallel to that. And then in 30 years, uh, Istanbul's settlement areas are increased by 57%. And uh, this, in fact, uh, causing a real threat for the water basins. And uh, in recent years, one of the most important water basins in Istanbul, the Küçükçek Middle Lake, unfortunately, it is not now usable as the, our main water resources body. And then, uh, what is expecting us for the uh, planned uh, challenges? And uh, until the 2005, uh, Istanbul's uh, metropolitan municipalities' authority border was one third of the borders now, as an area. So, 
we got three times bigger area since 2005. So we had to deal with uh, three times more areas than before. And again, uh, according to the, uh, the same law which passed through the Turkish parliament in the 2005, uh, preparation of the environmental plans should be completed in two years' time. So, although uh, Istanbul Metropolitan Municipalities, uh, bureaucrats and the directories and departments are quite excellent and experienced in these fields, but this is a new challenge. So, a new kind of establishment should be settled up. So, that was the reason why I'm going to mention later on the IMP was established. And again, uh, this kind of study needed multi-sectoral research studies. And also, uh, since Istanbul has Turkey's biggest economy, we have here a very, very powerful association chambers and bodies. So we have to sit together with them, discuss with them. So we had to find out the best suitable way for Istanbul. So multi-actor decision making was necessary and we've done it in our studies. Again, scale of the city and the complexity of the issues were main challenges uh, for planning Istanbul. And also, uh, the other challenges was, uh, were uh, the areas outside the uh, previous uh, municipalities, old authorities, uh, they, the local uh, municipalities there, they had their, their own uh, city plans. They carried out all those plans individually and independently without any integration. So that was also causing lots of problems. So this was also another challenge to integrate all these plans in the best way. And also uh, we have another challenge whether we should do the ordinary conventional master planning study or strategic planning study or we combine both and produce a new understanding of planning. We've done it so. Both the conventional master planning and the strategic planning carried out simultaneously. And also uh, we studied uh, many metropolitan uh, cities plans, London, Paris, Barcelona, etc. We uh, get inspired inspiration from them too. And at the stage, of course, we had an organization needed to carry out all these studies in a very short time. And here, I would like to thank a person, uh, Professor Hussein Kaptan. He uh, made a very excellent leadership and contributed uh, to these studies. And with this uh, IMP, this is in fact an organization, mayor's organization. Uh, it has a body inside uh, one of the municipalities' commercial uh, firms or companies named Bimtash. Uh, so uh, we, inside the Bimtash, with the contribution of almost 100 academicians and more than 400 uh, technical pupils, we uh, carried out all scientific and technological decision support needed for the statutory-wide metropolitan plans. And then plans were aiming at the year 2023, which is the establishment of Turkey's 100th birthday, this is going to be. And then again, uh, the IMP, in fact, uh, supported technical support and consultancy for metropolitan municipality in the fields of urban and regional planning, urban design and regeneration, historical heritage management too. And for these studies, we established 14 research and study groups among us, inside us. The process for the planning was carried out like this. And of course, we had the strategic plan, which, uh, which was also prepared uh, from the departments of the several departments of the municipality. And then uh, strategy uh, together with 100,000 uh, scale environmental plans. And meantime, we also studied one to 25,000 master plan decisions too. They all run together, side by side. And at the end, uh, towards the end of uh, 2006, 
uh, we completed uh, our uh, environment plan at one uh, 200,000 scale, and then that plan uh, unanimously accepted by the assembly of the municipality. But of course, uh, there were some legal issues, some uh, cases are opened in the course against this plan, and then some uh, interruptions we uh, uh, lived together. But anyway, uh, meantime, we uh, find out that, or we were pointing out always that, uh, studying Istanbul metropolitan area alone was not a right a planning situation or planning thinking. Instead, we had to consider planning Istanbul not only in the uh, borders of the Istanbul, but in the region that Istanbul is taking place. So we had to look at the neighboring uh, cities and neighboring uh, other regions. When we started uh, studying those uh, cities or regions, then we got uh, serious feedbacks to our plans too. Then we had to uh, think about revising our plan again. So that was a real uh, chance for us to make a good uh, revision for our uh, master plan studies too. Okay, here are the, uh, some regional planning studies uh, neighboring us. And then uh, the process feedbacking from region to metropolitan area to uh, 2006 plan, and then the finally ending up with the 2009 plan. Okay, envisioning Istanbul. Of course, Istanbul, uh, it has not a single direction commitment. It has a multi-direction commitment in our visions. Istanbul, in the future, not going to be any more a heavily industrial city. But instead, Istanbul should be a finance center, should be a cultural center, should be a tourism center, etc. And also, uh, together with our plan, we uh, quite a lot of, uh, paid a lot of attention uh, in the sensitivity of the water resources, forest, and the ecologic system of the Istanbul. And then, uh, of course, the increase of the quality of life or standards of life and the accessibility in transport and etc. was important. We tried to uh, find out the solution for all these. And then, uh, again, the city developed by conserving unique cultural and nature identity in the light of economic, social, and environmental sustainability transformed into information society with improved quality of life. Okay, I will pass this quickly. And then when we come to the objectives of the plan, uh, we can uh, mention about the six main objectives. One is to strengthen the city at the international area. Secondly, pioneer the sustainable regional development in Marmara region. And then thirdly, functionally integrate development pattern into a sustainable forms. And then increase the quality of life empower metropolitan social capital, and then enable restructuring for better urban management. And then, uh, according to this plan, uh, we have proposed urban centers. One of the main problem in the Istanbul uh, situation was a single, a very big single centered structure. So we had to decentralize this uh, towards the ages of the Istanbul, linearly, uh, not going to the further to the environmental areas, but below, uh, parallel to the Marmara Sea together. And then uh, proposed industry zones. Uh, some of them are uh, proposed for rehabilitation areas. Some of them were uh, proposed as the transformation or regeneration areas to be converted to the CDBs and others. And then some of them are, of course, the uh, organized industrial zones to be filled up or to be developed. And then, uh, again, for the first time, we studied logistics zones in these plans and the uh, ports too. And then, uh, again, uh, some macrosocial functions showing up there. 
and uh, new proposed housing development areas. And then some of the hotspot projects, I can say, uh, one in Kayabashi, uh, there is going to be uh, around 60,000 new housing settlement area going to take place there. Uh, and then uh, Kartal project area, that's uh, one of our very challenging uh, project area. That's around uh, 40, uh, 450 hectares area. That's one of the uh, collapsed industrial zones. Uh, there is the British architect had its uh, urban uh, design study uh, chosen as the uh, winning project and then we are uh, developing a uh, city plans, application plans according to that urban design projects. And then uh, Gender Valley, uh, in our uh, environmental plan or uh, land use decisions, we uh, foreseen that area as the educational, uh, uh, informational and technological development area. So we are now working on this project area too. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you very much.